Hi, I'm Stephanie from Innovation Baby and today I wanted to show you the Ryobi R18C5-0 18 volt cordless circular saw. We are a massive fan of Ryobi tools, um, I've done a few reviews on here um, and we are always so so pleased with them. We purchased it so that we could create um, a built in desk area in our dining room. I wanted it to fit seamlessly into the walls and that meant that we had to cut large pieces of MDF and every single piece has been cut using the um, circular saw. So we always have used Ryobi tools for all our DIY jobs um, so this time we want to try the circular saw. So inside the box is the actual body of it which comes without the battery in this one range. It comes with 165 mil blade which are 24 teeth um, that's included in the box the vacuum sort of spout and the instructions we purchased a 4 amp battery to go with this when we were researching how to price up this desk area we realised that if we bought larger sheets of MDF it was worked out a lot lot cheaper so my husband planned out all of the uh, each piece of the size of the wood we were going to need, all the doors, the drawers, all the pieces and so we wanted to use the Roby saw to cut down these large pieces of MDF. Now these are, these are massive and they are very heavy. <laughs> so we were really pleased with the safety features on here because it is quite scary the first thought of using something like this because it is, you know, pretty sharp. <laughs> Um, it's got brilliant adjustments on it, really easy to use. I thought it would be a lot more difficult, but it just slides down like this. So that tells you what angle you can use it at and what sort of depth you want to cut at. You can do straight cuts, long straight cuts for this, um, 52 mil at 90 degrees and 36 mil at 45 degrees. It was very easy to use with all its safety features that you actually have to press two buttons to be able to get it started once you, and that's where you put your battery you need to make sure that obviously it's not just going to go off in your hand so the safety features are really really good um, I loved the the guide that you've got at the beginning at the front of this that you use but basically just go slow and steady with it don't as soon as you try and go quick it will sort of like jam up and it can't it can't go through so don't try and zoom through them so use the little guide and just follow it along and it creates a really beautiful sharp straight cut like you literally cannot see cannot see the you know any edges or jaggedness or anything like that uh, nice slow movements so the one thing we really did have a problem with was the dust so it comes with a spout for the dust to be able to go out on sort of shoot out to and you can attach it to the vacuum However, we seem to have a bit of a problem with that. We couldn't, here's where the spout goes, which it would sort of direct the sawdust out of it. But obviously once it went onto the end of our vacuum stick, it kind of, you couldn't really restrict how it, it sort of was locked really in a position. So we just couldn't do it and it wouldn't stay in. However, we now got a dust bag for another tool, which I think I'm going to attach to this. As you can see, it created a lot of, um, a lot of sort of a lot of mess without it so hopefully this dust bag would work so there you go there's the final the final the final finished piece um so we were really pleased with it definitely recommend it and use it for all your projects thank you for watching